I had only taken one, one um, science class, and I was a junior year in high school, and so I took another one, went off to college, applied to one, and then I got into this program um, for underprivileged kids who, like if you were interested in medicine, then you could have a summer job at the hospital in medicine. And that's when I truly learned about what it was like. And I found that's what, that's what I really like to do, and so that's how I ended up in pediatrics. From a very young age, I engage the child, you know, even, you know, six to nine months, they, they know that I'm someone different in the room that's not their family member. And so I look at them and talk to them. I mean, the parents are there, but I'm looking at the child for the most part. And then you can kind of gauge, you know, a lot of the younger visits, honestly, are done in the parent's lap. There's something about that exam table that just freaks the children out. So we don't put them on there if we don't have to. I have done many a well visit on the floor with the child. So, um, because that's where they're comfortable. They're playing, they're active, that doesn't scare them. So I have no issues getting on the exam floor and just working with them there. As they get to be older, there is a time when I ask the parents, you know, is it okay if you step out in the hallway for a few minutes so I can have a discussion? In order for me to help that teen, I actually need to know what's going on. And then if we do find something that could be concerning, we, we really try to help the teen communicate that with the parent in a safe space. I have a strong background in public health. So I very much believe in the importance of preventative medicine and so trying to prevent problems before they actually you know, become an issue. We do um, want to check in with them and make sure that they were, they're doing okay, you know, not just physically but also mentally. I do have an interest in helping um, children and teens with things such as anxiety, depression, ADHD. Um, I would say a large percentage of my practice um, currently, um, the, the children are struggling with those such, such issues. I really liked, you know, learning and, and I really liked teaching. Um, I find so much joy and being able to help families, you know, guide them on their, on their health journey. Um, I just feel like I'm just a little bit a part of the village that it takes to raise a child.